What's good YouTube? It's your man Rage King back with another one. Yes, another upload to the channel. And before we get started, actually, if y'all please go down there and hit that like button, hit that sub button, hit that share button, hit that bell for notifications if you're new. Welcome to Rumble Rage TV. This is how we do Rage and Rebels. Crown up. And if you're new to the crew, welcome to the Rage and Rebel Revolution. Now let's vibe it, y'all. I figured why not. I've been waiting too long to do this and I got more time now then I'm probably going to have going forward. So I figure why not go ahead and start off yet another series. I know for those that's been following me for a few years now, y'all know I don't just talk video games. I do reactions. I do shorts. I do all that. All that. This is called Rumble Rage TV, not Rumble Rage Gaming, Rumble Rage TV. So every now and then, or if not often, I'm going to throw you a brand new series. And in this series, I'm going to talk about all the things that are missing in MK1 that have been in prior Mortal Kombat. But I'm going to do it piece by piece because if I do everything, we're going to be here for about seven hours. And I know y'all ain't trying to watch no seven hour video. Hell, I ain't trying to make one if I'm being honest, all right? So we're going to start off piece by piece. And I'm going to start off, in my opinion, even though it's small, it still matters. The little things add up to the big things that become memories that we hold on to and want to pass down to generation and generation. You understand what I'm saying? At least that's how I view it. Now, this very small thing may be something to pass over for a lot of people, but for me, it's kind of a big deal. And what do I mean? Rage King talking about this here music. The music, if you want to call it that, on this game here, Mortal Kombat 1, um, let's just say, at best, it's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? MJF, do you mind helping me out, bro? Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. That's definitely the word I was looking for. And I mean at absolute best. I'm not talking about, oh, well, it's maybe okay. No, I mean at the absolute, at its highest peak, the music. And I mean every last one of it. Every last goddamn note and syllable that is sung or played in this damn video game is absolutely, MJF, could you tell them again? Think I'm bullshitting. Well, let's just go ahead and scroll down the list. I got 19 of the 20 songs unlocked. Let's just listen to a few of them. Really? Okay, just one song, just one song. Okay, let's scroll down then. Let's go to the Hanging Gardens. But wait, there's more. No Billy Mays. Let's keep going. What? Let's go to the temple of Kataravala. I only give this song a pass simply because it was on a movie set. And most movie set songs are pretty garbage. Alright, so I'll give that one a pass. What the fuck is that? And 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 hold on. I, I maybe I'm tripping. But you hear this song soon though, right? Let's go to the hanging gardens. Is this not
Listen good. Okay, now let's go down. Does that not sound like damn near the same exact song to y'all? Minus maybe one note? Maybe I'm tripping. Let me know in the comment section. Let's go to the living forest now. Yeah. The cage mansion. No, not doing it for me either. The Great Hall. <laughs> that digging and scratching sound you hear is my cat digging in her cat box about ready to take a shit. I know, because that's exactly what I feel like doing here in this too. The Ying Yang Fortress. I'm telling you and show I'm telling you and showing you all of this for a reason. Stay with me. And finally. Come on, I'm gonna actually let this one pick up momentum. So yeah, all of that to say this, when it comes to the music in this game, right, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, feel free to disagree, but in my opinion, the music in this game, I'm not saying it's trash because of the sound of it, even though I'm not going to lie, about 16 of those 20 tracks are just making random fucking noise for no reason. It's not even music, all right? But I want to ask, of those songs, how many of those songs that are being played in the background, how many of them get you hyped to fight? How many of them do you hear and think, damn, once that, once I hear that drum, once I hear that boom, 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 once I hear the drums in the back, once I hear that beat pick up, oh, I'm locked in. None of them do that. At least not for me. I don't know about y'all, but I can't get hyped to a motherfucker, uh, a beat that sound like it was made by Ben Stock. The old clear eyes guy. For dry, red eyes, clear eyes is awesome. Unlike the other leading eye drop, it removes redness and has an ingredient to moisturize. So now I don't want to hear that shit. The music on this game don't get me no kind of hype to want to go in there and whoop some ass. I'm playing a fighting game. You're supposed to get me in the mode when whoops my ass. You know what I'm saying? Big face my cat when it get too close wants some affection. Don't want to fuck with me any other time of the day. But when I'm playing the game, oh, now nah, this motherfucker want attention. No. This don't make me want to go. This don't make me want to run through a wall. I'm not saying you should literally, jackasses. I'm just simply saying. Don't none of this music in this game get the blood pumping, get me focused, get me like, all right, man, get me, move out the way. It's time to whoop some ass. None of it. But I can play one song. One song. That's all I'm going to need. I can play one song for one goddamn minute. And I'm telling you. Everybody that played this motherfucking game or were part of Mortal Fucking Combat back in this goddamn damn age will tell you when they heard this goddamn song when they played this game, hell, multiple goddamn songs from multiple, if not all goddamn games minus Special Forces back in the goddamn day, and I'm talking Midway, not NRS, that you had some baller bomb ass music, dog. I'm finna play one song that's gonna shit. I'm talking about spread ass and drop a deuce on the motherfucking head or all this supposed goddamn noise they call music in this goddamn game. This is a fighting game. I'm supposed to want to get in and lock in. I can't do no. I can't get jiggy with none of this shit. None of it. I'm sorry. I just can't. But I'm going to play one song from Mortal Kombat back in the goddamn day. That's going to change all that. Watch. Oh. 
shit! Huh? What? What? The fuck is you talking about? The fuck is you talking about? That's enough. That's enough. They don't need no more. They don't need no more. That's enough. That's enough. Now that's some fighting game music for your ass right there. That's what get the blood pumping. That's you want to take something and throw something in the other motherfucking room because it ain't got in the goddamn way. Not literally just get you in the mood to do that. You see what I'm saying? It gets you pumped. It gets you hyped. It get the blood going, man. Where the fuck is that in the game? It's little things like that that add to the game. Why y'all slowly but surely sucking the life, siphoning the goddamn life, little by little, game by game, from the franchise we all know and love, bro? Bring back some killer-ass music with this goddamn game, all right? That's all the fuck I'm asking. My name Rage King, and I'm out this bitch. I'll holler at y'all ladies. I need some oxygen and some water. God damn. Goodbye. Whew, shit.